as we are celebrating the 100th year of the ILO's uh, cooperatives uh, unit, uh, we would like to hear from you. Uh, how do you see the role of cooperatives in the future of work? I'm strongly convinced that cooperatives should play also in future an important part of ILO's activities. It's not by chance that Altoma created this cooperative branch. It, in the connection with normative activity of the ILO, that is one thing. You give them a, countries, help them establish laws. But you have to help them also to implement these. And cooperatives is one of the means for the weaker part of the population to unite and achieve their economic advancement. And I think therefore cooperatives should continue to be very much in the focus of the ILO. It's clear that there are new forms emerging. In fact, there are even traditional forms of cooperative or cooper cooperation projects, not cooperatives, but where people cooperated in the water supply in many countries, even here in Switzerland. Since the Middle Ages, you have the uh, agricultural and drinking water supply in certain areas organized on a cooperative basis. So there is a need to do this, and it needs all those uh, a certain legal forms to be recognized, to be active, to, to take active part in the economic affairs. The same applies to these new forms. Say, we don't know yet how they are defined, but also benevolent activities? No, probably not. It should be that the people themselves help themselves. And whatever organization is available or possible, to help to help them to help themselves should be used. And therefore, we should not be dogmatic about the cooperative concept that they have to follow these exact these rules and you have a, a register and whatever else, but you should also have more subtle forms of cooperation, of helping people to cooperate, to advance socially, economically, philosophically in their lives. And such organizations should also be part of our of your activities in the future. Great.